Hey everybody, Dr. Giggles here from SFNA Online. Today's video, and as if you watched the After Grow Show, After Hours uh, show, if you didn't, I'll link it at the uh, at the end of this video, just so you can watch it. You know, just catching up on theme park news. Uh, nothing earth shattering, so to speak, but today's video is earth shattering. Because it kind of baffled my mind when I heard this. Because I was like, what are they talking about? So some, First of all, my buddy Chris, down in Florida, he sent me a text. And I'm like, what the hell is this? And then Jason in Paradise was firing off screenshots. And I'm like, ah, this has got to be a joke. Like somebody, you know, like during IAPA, somebody was saying on the Friday, uh, Six Flags was going to announce that they bought Kennywood. Like, you know what I mean? Like they, that was a rumor. Like somebody said it and then I heard it more than once. So you can't always take everything you read and hear and see and watch on the internet as, as, as fact, you know? So basically, Six Flags changes are coming, and it's kind of, it's going to take some, but to me, it sounds like, like it could be the best thing ever, but it, probably not. Six Flags, you know? I love going to the parks, but their corporate structure and everything, the way it was, I don't know how it is, you know, exactly going to be now, uh, wasn't ever that good. You know what I mean? They, you know, it was it was like the Oprah show, and and you get a fireball, 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 and so on. You know what I mean? It was it's terrible. This is gonna so basically it's like so it all started with lots of rumors swirling about changes, layoffs at Six Flags Corporate. Mix in the new CEO and himself promoting himself. Add in investor affairs of takeover. Keep saying it's worth repeating. Something is up at Six Flags. Will be very interesting to watch. And that's what I saw. I'm like, what is going on? Right? And then it says, goodbye to the corporate overloads of Six Flags. Parks are all fending for themselves. And the individual park president just gained a whole lot of power. That means new capital is dependent on the park performance and how they wish to utilize those funds. And just so you know, you know, they're coming from various people on Twitter. Like at Sean BM nineteen seventy six, uh, on at online hide. Another one at online hide says, "How about more details to start this week?" Apparent six current leadership page on the website to a previous version. Six people out of twelve are no longer listed. EVP general counsel, SVP consumer and guest experiences, SVP park services, SVP park ops, VP marketing, VP comms. All the, those. Six positions have been terminated. Gone. So, if this story is true, and it's been confirmed, it's not a rumor anymore. Like, it's actually been confirmed. So, all the park presidents are going to report directly to the CEO. So, but here it is. Now, they now parks, on an individual basis, know what they need. Whether it's maintenance, paint on buildings, ride, you know, rides, whatever. They know what rides to put in. And this will t- this will hopefully take it from being the same rides in every park. We go back to how parks used to be, being unique, making you want to travel to new places. That's just my opinion on it, and I and I hope that it works out. It could totally blow up in their face if a park president, but th- you're gonna see the the lower tiered parks like Great Escape, Lerone, uh, America. So you know what I mean, Frontier City and all that. They're not gonna be making as much money because their performance isn't as good as say Magic Mountain, Great Adventure, Fiesta Texas, so on and so forth. You know what I mean? Uh, Great America, New England does okay. You know, it just depends on the year and you know up and down, whatever. You know, so that's dependent upon that. But you know, the two big dogs obviously, a Magic Mountain, Great Adventure. Those are the two big dogs. Everybody else falls in line behind. Everybody else is gonna get the scraps. Just how it's gonna work, and if the people, if the parks want to do, that's just gonna keep that's gonna keep everybody accountable, which is great because that's what you need. You don't want people just going hey, rah, 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 and then just go eh, whatever, turn a cheek. We shall see what happens. I mean, if it's is it if it's as cut and dry as it is, the stuff I've been reading, hey, I'm all for it. I love it. But I'm going to hold off total judgment until it happens. This is Six Flags, you know. They do not have a great track record with anything. Think about it. And I even hate talking ill of Six Flags because I enjoy going to the parks. It's just, I mean, come on. Ace takes pride in busting your balls saying, when, when you hear people from Ace say, I'm having a Six Flags day, that's not a good thing. 
they're saying they're having a terrible day. Just so you know, if you didn't know that what that meant, that's what it meant. You know, and it's not just them. Most coastal clubs do that. You know what I mean? That, you know, in my past experience, that's just what it happened and what it meant. You know what I mean? So the Six Flags in general just didn't have that track record of really being innovative when... I mean, they were, like, back in the day, you had X2, fantastic, King of Ka. You know, even El Toro when it first opened was a fantastic ride. You had Nitro, and you have all these rides, Batman a ride. Like, they were being innovative, and now it's just like, I'm uh, being cheap, and I'm buying six of everything, and I'm just dropping them in parks everywhere. And that's that's not being innovative and creative with technology. That's, I'm cheap, and I'm lazy. Like, the best attractions that have come out probably in the last five or six years might have been... Uh, uh, what do you call it? The the Justice League rides. You know what I mean? That was like them putting their all into it. It was a surprise ride. So we'll see what happens now. I mean, what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. Are you for this, against this? Are you just waiting to see? Do you, do, you know, what would you guys like to see the park presidents doing? Do you want them just adding roller coasters? Do you want the parks to be balanced? Do you want, you know, do you want shows? Do you want new restaurants? Do you want roller coasters? Do you want flat rides? Do you want water park? Do you want strictly just roller coasters, which is a bad idea? But, hey, let us know anything at all down below. Till next time, everybody. Keep on coasting, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Have a Merry Christmas. And please, for a gift for me, share this video. Subscribe to this channel. And leave us a comment. Hit that like button. That's all I need. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, y'all. Peace. <laughs>